students, you guys are doing so great with our music class here. Now we're gonna play one more time our song. After that, it's gonna be time for a comedy class, and we've got next up is gonna be Ryan to do his presentation. But first, let's just finish this song. Let's do it one more time, last time, okay? So remember, the chords are G, and then it's C, and then it's D, okay? Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share this song and change your entire menu to be vegan from now on. Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share this song and change your entire menu to be vegan from now on. for your presentation. Can't wait to see this. All right. What are you going to come up with? Now, last time, boys and girls, you may remember that Ryan actually got a really good grade in comedy class. So let's remember. Okay. First of all, yeah, here's his grade that he got last time. He got an A. And he, so he did quite well. He only had a few X's there. And, um, oh, I got to get my marker ready. So this is my marker. Um, yeah. This is my marker. This is a, a vegan marker. In case you need one, you can buy one that brand. And um, what else? Oh yeah, so comedy class rules. So the goal of comedy class is to make fun of that vegan teacher, but without being mean. So last time he got a really good grade. You gotta mention animals and you gotta mention vegan foods. All right, so let's see how Ryan does. Everybody's ready? You got your vegan markers. You got your scorecards. Everybody can participate. All right, yep. Yeah. Yeah, perfect marker there. All right, ready to go? Ryan, you ready? Okay, let's do this. Let's see what Ryan comes up with. Now, first thing we notice is that he has glasses on, which is very good. He already looks a little bit like that vegan teacher. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what that is on his face, but let's find out. Hi, kids. Hi. Oh, so don't mind my face. I just passed the McDonald's on the way here and saw a man bite into a chicken nugget. Mr. Sutherland wanted me to... Oh, my goodness. Wait, what? Let, oh, this, so everything goes so fast here. Let's go back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what, what on earth is going on. Okay, so, uh, Ryan, this presentation that you put up here is... Um, it's okay. Uh, we don't mind if I slow it down. Sometimes I'm going to back it up because sometimes, you know, I'm just old and I have a hard time hearing. Okay? Hi, kids. Hi. Oh, so don't mind my face. Just... Oh my goodness, okay, so it's him? So that's you, Ryan, and you've got a couple of different kids in the class, okay. <laughs> All right, kids, again. hi. Okay, so there's two kids. One's got a red scarf on, and then this is another kid there, okay. And that vegan teacher comes in and she says that she just passed by McDonald's. And I guess she, she was crying because she saw that somebody was eating a chicken nugget, so oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I do that all the time, so that is, that's pretty much what I do, yeah. Okay, let's go back. Go back. Hey kids, hi. Okay, so wait, the, the title of this, by the way, is If That Vegan Teacher Was Your Substitute Teacher. Okay, so, all right, let's move this this way. That'll be better. It'd be easier to see. Is that okay? Can you guys see better that way? Move it over here a bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, if that vegan teacher was your substitute teacher. All right, let's see. So she comes in and she says, hi, kids. So she's very sweet at the beginning. So that's great. I'm going to give you a check mark because, you know, you're, you're acting like me and you're making fun of me, but you're making me be sweet. That's what I do. I come in and say, hi, kids, nicely. Hi, kids. Hi. Oh, so don't mind my face. I just passed the McDonald's on the way here and saw a man bite into a chicken nugget. Mrs. <gasps> oh, yeah. So she was crying because she saw somebody bite into a chicken nugget. So good. That's good. Remember, we should not be suppressing our tears. I have a card somewhere about that. Um, 
Let's see. I, I have so many cards here on my desk. Well, for one thing, I have animals are not objects to be used by us. So that applies to that. So good job for you with that one. And oh, yeah, this one. It's normal to cry when we see animal abuse. Speak out and share their stories. So that's what you're doing here. You are showing that Miss Katie, that vegan teacher, is capable of emotion and she's sad. And, you know, that's what you're showing. The only thing I would say, though, uh, Ryan, is that, you know, I don't wear makeup because I don't want to buy stuff that's bad for the environment, extra things that I might not need. And I don't like putting gunk on my face. You know, most makeup is tested on animals. So I'm going to give you a check mark for um, the crying part because that's true. It's okay. And we shouldn't suppress our tears if we see animals uh, suffering. But I'm going to give you uh, an X for wearing that makeup, okay? We, we die, you know, in that vegan teacher's class, we don't wear makeup. We just, we're just natural. We don't dye our hair or, or have fake nails or anything like that. All right? Sutherland wanted me to teach you guys about math. I thought, let's sing it Here's my okay so the principal wanted that vegan teacher to teach about math so this is making fun of um, ryan what is that thing on your head what is that some sort of a, is that a price tag like what is that a, the wig has some sort of like okay it wait are you making fun of me because you think I have a wig on? Is that is that what it is? Because like a lot of people are often saying that they think I have a wig and you're just like leaving the tag because you're sort of proving that I have a wig. Is that it? Hmm. I well, actually, I kind of think it's funny. So I'm going to give you a check mark for that because you know you're you're not taking yourself too seriously. So that's that's good. My ukulele. Oh, two plus two is four. <gasps> you have your ukulele handy. That's amazing. Good job. Check mark for that. You definitely know that vegan teacher. You know, let's go back a bit. Everything happens so fast, so. Hi, kids. Hi. Oh, so don't mind my face. Just passed the McDonald's on the way here and saw them. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. I think the kids are funny. They have that schmernerd look on their face. So schmernerd is a look that is kind of neutral and kind of like in between emotions. It's a, a word that we invented as kids. And I have a whole song called schmernerd, actually, if you want to look it up. I think it's somewhere on Spotify. Maybe it's not up yet. I don't know. But anyway. So, yeah, this kid is looking pretty schmurder. Mr. Sutherland and wanted me to teach you guys about math. I thought, let's sing it. Yeah, why not? Let's sing it. But I hope you're going to combine it with singing about the animals. Let's see if you do. Here's my ukulele. Oh, two plus two is four. Six plus six is twelve. Cows are murdered every day in slaughterhouse. Oh, my God. What? Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I don't know how, to, I don't know, Ryan, I don't know what to say about this. Okay, you should, what you should do is say two saved animals plus two saved animals equals four saved animals. Okay, you want to, you want to go with the positive with kids. I mean, yes, kids need to learn the truth. Here's my card for that one. Kids, tell kids the truth, but you don't always have to be like so scary about it. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know how old are these kids. Anyway. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a check mark anyway because it's just funny. It's a sort of funny exaggeration, I guess. I was just, the little cow asks, what? Okay, so you have the kids are going, oh, because they're learning the truth and it's a bit much for them. They don't, you know, it's hard. We gotta tell kids the truth about what happens in the meat industry, the dairy industry, and all of that. Oh, where's my card for that? Oh my god. Yeah, we have to teach kids that speciesism is wrong. Hopefully you have this word in your song. I hope you do. Today's lesson. Remember that you're supposed to mention animals and vegan foods. So hopefully, you're, well, you already mentioned an animal. You mentioned chicken nuggets, which is a dead chicken, unfortunately. It's pretty sad. Can you believe it that people cut them, cut up these innocent birds and just stick them inside a wrapper? I mean, it's so sad. And then, and then you mentioned the cows just now, or something. What did you What did you mention? Okay, let's go back. Let's sing it. Here's my ukulele. Oh, two plus two is four. Six plus six is twelve. Cows are murdered every day in slaughterhouses. You know, yeah, that song doesn't even rhyme though, Ryan. <laughs> it doesn't rhyme. Come on, my songs rhyme better than that. Are you making fun of my songs? I'm not sure how to take you, young man. But I like this expression on this kid's face. It's just kind of funny. Like this teacher who's teaching them and, and he's, he's actually, I mean, it's funny, but it's, it's actually kind of sad also. I don't know. I don't know what to think of this presentation, Ryan. The little cow asks, where's my mommy? She's a big man. Oh, 
That's true. The <laughs> little cows. Oh my God, that's exactly what they do. They say, where's my mom? And then, and then she's, she's been killed. Turned into a Big Mac. Exactly. Well, at least you were listening to the song, Eating Animals is Wrong, right? So that's good. So, okay, so this is good. Actually, Ryan, look, what you're doing is you are talking about McDonald's and you're talking about exactly what happens there. So yeah, I'm going to give you another check mark for that. That's good. Good job. Letting people know the truth. Never go to that horrible place. There's like a holocaust that goes on in there. All these incredibly sad displays of murdered body parts in there. It's just awful. There's no need for it. Go and eat somewhere else. Boycott that place. Mac. Everybody, she's a Big Mac. She's a Big Mac. She's a Big Mac now. <gasps> Oh my goodness, wait, what? Okay, so first of all, these kids are trying to sing along, so that is kind of funny, because, I mean, this is an exaggerated version of that vegan teacher, so I'm gonna give you a check mark for that, and the, the kids are sort of, unfortunately, having to learn the truth about what happens, and it's hard, it's hard, it's a hard truth, and so you can see that the kids are a bit traumatized. That's the way it is. I'll give you another check mark for that, though, because the two boys, yeah, they're both traumatized. I swear my mommy, she's a big man. Everybody, she's a big man. <laughs> Are you trying to get the kids to sing along to this, this, oh, this awful dark song? Oh my God. I, you know, kids have to know the truth, but it's, I just, Ryan, I don't know. I don't know what to do with you. She's a big Mac. She's a big Mac now. <laughs> Wait. I don't know why I'm laughing. It's so sad. Why is that vegan teacher laughing? Is she laughing? Wait, she's singing. <laughs> she's singing about the mother who's a big. Why am I laughing right now? She's singing about the mother who's a Big Mac. That's not funny. Oh, I swear, my mommy. She's a Big Mac. Everybody, she's a Big Mac. <laughs> Maybe you just couldn't keep a straight face because you know how sad it really is. Is that what happened, Ryan? Because you know. You know, it's sad. Maybe that's what happened. I mean, you're a, you're a good comedian. I mean, right, boys and girls? Isn't he doing a great job in this presentation? In general, it's really good, right? But, uh, yeah, so maybe you just, you came out of character there for a little while. You just kind of burst out and, and laughed. But, you know, it happens, it happens to me, too. I mean, so, yeah, let's give you a check mark for that. You sting. In general, you're in general you're staying in character, and your your presentation is is captivating. It's definitely not boring. Mac. She's a big Mac. She's a big Mac now. <laughs> Are you eating cow pups? <gasps> yes. That. Uh oh! You're showing non-vegan foods in class. That X. No, 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 Ryan. Mm mm. Don't do that. Especially nothing with cheese on it because cheese comes from a cycle of violence that's the dairy industry. Come on, you can't just show that without. Ex I, hopefully, you're explaining the whole industry there. I, let's see what happens. That Dorito could have been someone's mom. No, the Dorito itself can't be someone's mom because the Dorito is made with cheese, which comes from stolen milk from someone's mom. All right? It's just a little nuance there. Oh, by the way, if you want to know about the dairy industry, oh, I have a little snuff. Oh, maybe, I don't know, am I crying? I don't know, why is my nose ring, running a bit? Okay, wait, where's my card? Where is my card about the dairy industry? Where is it? It's somewhere here. Okay, we've got, we had this one already. We showed this one. Show, oh, here it is, here it is. Okay, so if you want to know about the dairy industry, go to dairy-truth.com. I'm going to make that dash a little bit darker. Dairy-truth.com, okay? Dash and egg-truth.com. Go and check these sites out for homework, everybody. Go and read what you see there. Watch the video so you know what really happens, okay? When you get one of those Egg McMuffins and there's an egg on there, it's very sad. Very sad, the baby boy chicks are ground up on day one because they'll never be able to lay eggs. Very sad. We are hu horrible, horrible humans. And the dairy industry too, what they do to the females, not right. They touch the males inappropriately. They take their sperm. They touch the females inappropriately. They force the sperm inside of them when the babies are born. They take them away and they kill the baby boys and they put the females back into the cycle of violence. Women, we need to stand up. And you know, it just because it's not our uterus, it is still a female uterus and we must stand up 
feminism has its place in the vegan movement. All right? So. Don't kill animals. Don't kill animals. Yes. Exactly. Good. I, I bet. I don't know, Ryan, why are you laughing while she... I guess you... It's hard to keep in character, isn't it? Don't kill animals. <laughs> the Dorito kid is trying. Or what she knows. What is he eating? Oh, my God. Wait, what was it? Don't buy that, whatever it is. Okay? Let's sing it. Here's my ukulele. Oh. Two plus two is four. Six plus six is twelve. Cows are murdered every day in slaughterhouses. The little cow asks, where's my mommy? She's a Big Mac. Everybody, she's a Big Mac. She's a Big Mac. She's a Big Mac now. Are you eating cow puck? I think it was a Dorito. Uh-oh. Wait, how, where did you get that from? Ryan, did you have that in your house? Did you buy that just for this presentation? Or did you have that in your house? I want answers. Either way, you should not have bought that. You should have taken that plastic bag out of the garbage and had your character pretend to eat them, not actually eat them. X. Yes. That Dorito. Could have been someone's mom. Don't kill animals. Don't kill animals. Don't kill. It was fire. It was fire. <gasps> what? What is going on? Die. 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 <gasps> die. 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 What are you making me do? What on earth are you making me do? No, 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 no. We don't hurt spiders. Oh my God, X. How many times did you say that? Ryan, this is terrible. I would never do that. Mac. She's a big Mac now. Are you eating cow pus? Yes. That Dorito could have been someone's mom. Don't kill animals. Don't kill animals. Don't kill. It was fire. It was fire. Once. Die. Twice. Die. Three. Die. Four. Die. Die. Five. Die. Six. Die. Seven. Die. Eight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're Eight times you hit an innocent spider who never did a single thing wrong to you in this skit pretending that you are me? I would never do that. Shame on you, Ryan. Eight X's for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is not looking good. This is not a good presentation. This is the goal of comedy class is to make fun of me but without being mean. Now that's kind of being mean because I would never do that. You're making me look like a two-faced person and I would never do that. Didn't you read Charlotte's Web? Remember? Remember we read it. Did you not read it? That was the homework. We read a bit of it in class together and remember Charlotte? Remember the spider? And she made a web and she saved Wilbur's life? You got to go back and read that book again. Okay, because the, the goal of that book, the whole point of it, the moral of the story is that we shouldn't hurt spiders. Yeah, we should love them. What on earth? Oh my God, I'm going back. Every day in slaughterhouses, the little cow asks, where's my mommy? She's a Big Mac. Everybody, she's a Big Mac. She's a Big Mac. She's a Big Mac now. Are you eating cow pus? Yes. That Dorito could have been someone's Mom, don't it is true though that that cow's milk has does contain some pus. That's right. Very good. You know, I'm going to give you a check mark for pointing that out. Remember that, everyone. Remember that, boys and girls. Do not drink cow's milk because it does contain pus. Okay, that's really important. Drink soy milk instead, or oat milk, any other kind of milk, but not cow's milk. Okay, don't steal from animals. We don't steal. Oh, somewhere around here, I had a card about stealing. I don't know where it is now. Let me see. What do I have here? Oh, I have the chart about Bosch.tv. If you want recipes, you can go to that. What else do I have here? Yeah, vegan. Being vegan is great for the animals, but it's also good for the environment and for our health. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah. And oh, this is about vegan phobia. You know, vegan phobia is bad. It's like racism and homophobia. It's like ageism and ableism. These are all wrong. We must end all of these. Don't be vegan phobic. That means to be mean to animal defenders. Okay, that's not okay. Uh, what else do we have here? 
Oh, I have a, I have this one. Don't forget, being vegan means being kind to animals. It means not paying people to hurt them. So you don't buy Doritos. Uh uh. You don't go to McDonald's. Uh uh. Got it? And you don't hurt them yourself either. All right. Oh, here's why. Here's my one about the spiders. Okay. Gently remove insects from your home without hurting them. Got it? Read it again, Ryan. Okay. That's what we do. We don't hurt animals. We don't hurt spiders. Kill animals. Don't kill animals. Don't kill. It was fire. It was fire. Die. No. Die. No. Die. No. Die. No. 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 Sorry, guys. Where were we? She's a big mag. She's a big mag now. She's a big. Oh my goodness! Look at this face. You have to admit that I, Ryan is a very good actor. Look at that. He is showing us in this, in this, um, in this one s short segment, the the trauma that we feel when we find out the truth. We're eating our Doritos. Like I used to eat them too, right? And then you find out what's in them, and there's cheese in them, and it comes from this cycle of violence where we hurt these female cows and we kidnap from them, we steal, and then you get that look in your eye where you're sort of like feeling this cognitive dissonance. You're getting some clicks. You see this boy here got some clicks. It takes a hundred clicks until you're vegan, but you're on your way. Takes a hundred clicks until you're vegan. It'll be a beautiful day when you become vegan. A click is like a, a light bulb moment. Like when it hits you, you realize, oh my goodness, I have to be vegan. What's going on here is wrong. So you see, this is what's good about Ryan's video. You know, Ryan, Ryan must be almost vegan. If he can, unless he's just such a good actor. But look at that. How do you make a face like that that's really getting it, really connecting? Unless you're a really good actor or you really understand veganism. So I'm going to give him a really good check mark there for actually I'm going to give him two check marks, one for each eye because this is a very Big good man. of somebody who looks very traumatized after learning Dorito the truth. could have been someone's mom. Don't kill animals. Don't kill animals. Don't kill. It was fire. It oh no, not this again. No. Die. No. Die. No, die. don't hurt the spider. Die. Stop die. it. Ryan, die. stop it. Stop. Sorry guys. Where were we? She's a big mag. You know, when there's a spider anywhere in your house, what you do is you take a cup and you turn it upside down and you put it, you, you gently, you take, for example, let's say this is a, a little paper, this is a table, you slide the paper under or the cardboard and you just try to get the, you put the cup on top and you try to get the spider in there without hurting their delicate little legs. And then you carry the, the paper with the cup outside being really, really careful because you don't want to hurt their legs. And then you just leave it out there. You take the, the lid off. You take the, the glass off. And you just wait till the spider walks away to her freedom. Okay? That's what we do. Okay? We, we remove ge them gently. Remove them gently without hurting them. Or we just let them live with us because sometimes, honestly, they're kind of cute. I don't know if I have any here right now, but I had one the other day. I don't know what happened. Anyway, okay, so he's a big man now. He's a big man. This this face is just it's just priceless. This is such excellent acting. All right, so Ryan comedy. Uh, what do we give you? Here's your here's what you got today. I mean, let's count them. Okay, wait. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. X's and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 check marks. So you passed. I'd say you pass. Maybe I'll give you a C. What do you think? What do you what what grade do you give yourself? I'm gonna give you a C for this. Okay? Because you you had some good, you know, get a few good points, but you know, you really you hit the spider. Ryan, come on man can't be hitting the spider. All right, so unfortunately, you got a C. Too bad for that. You can try again, though. Okay, another presentation. Tina, you can do better, okay? Don't make that vegan teacher hurt animals. That would never happen, okay? But, it, it, you know, considering it was it was comedy class, you, you did, you kind of made fun of me, and it was it wasn't really bad, so yeah, that's okay. All right, thank you everybody for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, 
that vegan teacher and also on my Instagram. I don't know where my Instagram paper is. I had one here. Instagram, yeah. If you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, it's that vegan teacher, Miss Katie. It's all one word, no underscores or anything. Okay? Thank you all for being here. And uh, don't forget after you subscribe to tap the notification bell and help me get all these animals out of hell. That's right, boys and girls. Good job. So everybody, thank you to Ryan. Good presentation. And coming up next are going to be a bunch of other videos on screen. Tap on them. Have a look around. Be curious. Check out that vegan teacher's site. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone. Do, 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 do. Okay, Ryan. What? Yes, yes, you did well. Don't be upset. It's just a C. It's fine. You'll do better next time. Yeah. You want to do what? You want to get a veggie burger? Okay, everybody, veggie burgers on me. Let's all go. Come on, get your boots on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs>